everybody. We are in Kamabai. This is the chief's house right here on my right. Sorry, I don't have my selfie today because my charge is really low. So I'm going to try and get this battery charged up. But for right now, this is our container. And a little bit of a flat. It's been sitting here for about a day before we can get it off. I thought we were going to be able to get a forklift truck uh, or a crane the way we did it in London. And that just is not the case here. We have to unload this and get a huge forklift truck to get it actually off. So that's what we're doing. And um, that's on the agenda. We've got a bunch of young lads here, strong as hell. They're unloading this container. And you can see what's going on there. They're just uh, like a conveyor belt. It's actually quite amazing. We're actually quite blessed to actually have this, these guys here. And um, yeah, all the windows, all personal effects. But this is what it looks like here from Camabai. So I thought I'd give you an update. We got it out of the port yesterday. It was uh, a trying time. The actual container came out before the vehicle. So that was a bit of a problem because this fella had to leave Freetown and it had to actually leave the port. So in order to do that, we had to leave the car behind and we had to go back yesterday. It took about a day to get this car out of customs and excise at the Port of Freetown. So there is the 4x4 and uh, that was actually inside the container. That's going to be helping us with the terrain around here. So that's going to be great. So that's about it, and uh, I will pick this video up in a little while and let you know where we all want to get a bit of a charge. Okay. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Demo Manor House video build here in Camabai. So uh, the last video I took, I didn't have my selfie camera, so I couldn't give you the accurate pictures here with me in it. But uh, there you go, what we've got going here is um, a problem with the forklift operator and we wanted him to come actually yesterday but because we couldn't get the vehicle out in time we uh, sort of lost our slot and now we don't have the ability to actually get a uh, forklift. At least he says he's coming but until I see it show up it's not here. So these guys right behind me uh, Ingenuity, they're going to try and slide that container off the back, tying it to a mango tree. And that is taking a container off African style. Okay, so when you don't have the uh, nice hydraulic equipment like London does, and you have to get things off the back of a, uh, a trailer, you got to do what you got to do. And these guys are using jacks, they're putting, uh, is right on the corners of the container, there's actually a little lip that actually hooks on to the trailer itself. So that container is actually sitting. So they need to actually raise it up. And they're actually doing it by hand and with hand jacks, uh, sliding stuff underneath. So when he actually ties this container actually to the, ma the mango tree, and actually it starts sliding off the back easily, and then it will actually tip down and it'll hit the ground and then he will move the truck forward and it will actually hit the ground. It's gonna hit the ground a little bit hard, but I think we might be okay. We've got the solar batteries actually in there. I'm a bit concerned about those, but what are you gonna do? We're gonna have to take the chance because we have to get this thing down and this guy's gotta get back to the port of free time because he's been here an extra day. So there's nothing we can really do about it. These guys are doing the best they possibly can. The sun is a blaring out here today. You notice I'm getting a little bit tan going on here because I've been out in the sun most of the time. Uh, trying to stay out of it most of the time. I'm doing the best I can. So there's the guys on what they're trying to do. Just, uh, they're, having a, they're having a conversation about it on what else needs to be done to be able to get this thing on the ground. It might not be perfectly straight. It's probably not going to be on blocks, but it's going to be the closest thing we can get to get this guy at a cattle pie and on the road back to Freetown because he needs, he does this for a living. So he needs to get that heck out of here, as they say. And uh, this is the Sierra Leonean way of actually getting a container off the back of a flatbed truck. Right? So uh, when they start moving this thing and be able to rig it so that it's going to do what we want it to do, 
I will be back on a video real quick to give you the update and hopefully we'll be able to see this thing drop on the ground a little bit differently than the way it was loaded in London, but there you go. We're in West Africa, we gotta roll with the punches and do as best we can. And these guys are uh, very enthusiastic, they're, they're young lads, and they're smart people, and they always try and find a way to get it done. So I will see you in just a second on um, the continuation video. Okay. All right, guys, welcome back um, to a continuation here. So these guys, uh, we've got these batteries, these solar batteries right behind me. And what they did was they actually placed it. It was in the middle, and they actually placed them against the wall because when this thing comes down on the back, you just want them to hit sort of the back door and not fall over. So that's basically what they're doing. They're strapping it down. We got all this rope that they're using here in London uh, about, what, a month, month and a half ago? No, probably two months ago, actually. And we got a pretty good deal on that. We got a lot of it, and we thought we were going to need it in the container, but we wind up not using it anyway, so there you go. But you know, you see all the lads around. You now they're all helping, giving each other uh, uh, encouragement and so forth, which is really good. It's all team effort here. So they are, they've got it actually up. I think you can see it. They've actually got it up about five inches. So the corners are actually off. So they've raised that up on each one of these corners. There it is, right over here on each one of the corners. So you got sort of big old dead branches and everything on it. And uh, they're gonna actually roll it off the back after they tie it to this mango tree that this guy's standing up. So they're gonna tie the chain around there. And I do believe I have the chain, there it is. Let's see if we get to, you can actually see the chain down there. Yeah. So it's right around the tree. They're actually tying it in there right now. And uh, in just a few moments, actually, uh, when we get to the position where they're going to yank this thing off, it's going to make some good video anyway. And uh, we'll see how we do with it. Let's hope for the best. No injuries. You know, this isn't a, a safe operation. This is actually a dangerous thing to do. This is sort of like a last resort when you don't have something like we had in London where you just sort of take it off the video that you saw and actually put it back on. So, you know, we're out here 120 miles from Freetown and they just don't have the facilities here to be able to get it. So, we'll, we'll catch up with you in just a second and let you see this container get on the ground. Okay, so we'll see you in a minute.